Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Cobb with Z-Health Performance, and today we're going to be discussing simple at-home exercises that you can use to help hypertension. If you are new to Z-Health, as I always say, we are a brain-based training company. We focus on educating world-class doctors, therapists, and coaches. We have students in 110 countries, so if you find this interesting, make sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all of our free resources. Now, the topic today is hypertension. Whenever we look into the research literature, over a billion people worldwide have hypertension and only about 20% of them have it well controlled. While there are a vast number of pharmaceutical approaches, we are always looking for things that we can do at home in a very time efficient manner to help lower blood pressure. So what I want to cover today is a result of three major studies, meta reviews that have been looking at different approaches. These are things that we've been talking about for over 20 years, but because of the pandemic, one thing that happened is a lot of researchers started looking at hypertension saying what can we get people to do at home so that they don't have to be exposed um, to covid so over the last two years we've seen kind of an explosion of research looking at these very specific approaches now what i would love to do is spend about 35 minutes talking about the neurology behind why using isometric hand grip and breathing exercises can make a huge difference in hypertension but today what i'm going to focus on is telling you what to do and then if you get interested you can read more about it or look into information in our courses so most of us are very aware that aerobic and anaerobic exercise can be beneficial for hypertension. Believe it or not, for many years it was believed that aerobic exercise would lower blood pressure, but strength training would actually increase it. We now know that that is not true. And so obviously one of the things we're always encouraging people with blood pressure issues to do is to exercise. But whenever we look at the research literature, one of the things that's interesting is that regardless of the protocol used, whether it's a long slow endurance you know 30 to 60 minutes at a low heart rate or interval training etc the general decrease in blood pressure is helpful but it's not profound so there are many issues that arise in that and that often we'll talk a lot about as a brain-based uh, training company that we have to individualize exercise so it's often not enough to tell people hey just go out start walking if you can run do a little bit of running it needs to be individualized to that person. And that's probably one of the reasons why in the research we don't see huge drops in both systolic and diastolic blood pressure. What I wanna talk about today are two things that really do work and have in the latest meta review shown to be more effective in lowering blood pressure than standard exercise approaches. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is isometric hand grip training. So isometric hand grip training is very simple. The idea is that I'm gonna squeeze and I'm going to hold. Now. This research concept actually began back in the 70s and 80s. In 1985, there was a study published looking at hypertension in different working populations. And what they found was that people that worked regularly uh, in a job that required moderate to heavy isometric exercise, meaning pressure without moving, had among the lowest incidence of hypertension. So this got researchers interested in saying, can isometric exercise lower blood pressure? That has now evolved into utilizing hand grip training. So here's what you're gonna do. Put very simply, we need to have people doing th about 30% of their maximal voluntary contraction exercise with both hands. Now, this is a handheld dynamometer. You can get one of these for, I don't know, 50, 60 bucks. Um, and what I'm gonna tell you is sometimes this is very helpful because what you have to start off with is knowing how tightly you can squeeze. So if I set this and I give it a really good hard squeeze, I'm at about 150 pounds with my right hand. The protocols for using isometric hand grip are 30% of that. All right, so I just have to do a little bit of math. So let's say I'm 150, uh, so I obviously do 30% of that, so I'm now I'm at 45 pounds. All that I have to do to get the benefit is I now have to do a 30% hand grip. So I would start this over again and I would now squeeze. I have to squeeze now and I have to get it to 45 pounds and try and hold it there. But I have to hold it for two minutes. So I'm going to hold for two minutes at 45 pounds and I can just keep checking this and then I'm going to relax and I'm going to relax for four minutes and then I'm going to do it again for a total of four rounds. So that's eight minutes of isometric hand grip exercise. I'm gonna do it on my right hand twice and my left hand twice. Whenever we look into the literature on this, this will, over the course of six weeks, typically drop your systolic, which is the top number, blood pressure between eight and 14 points, uh, and the lower 
uh, diastolic by around six to eight points, which is fantastic. That is actually comparable to many medications. Um, normally you have to do this three times a week. So that's about 20 minutes when you include the rest time, 20 to 25 minutes, three times a week. You can do it watching TV. It's a fantastic tool for lowering blood pressure. Now our other option is to utilize breathing exercises. There are multiple iterations of breathing exercises that have been found to be beneficial. The first one is just deep, slow breathing with a focus on exhalation. So I tell people set a metronome or set a timer. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to try to do a six breaths per minute with a long exhalation. We've talked about this in numerous blogs. One of the things that we know that lowers blood pressure, lowers blood pressure is a long exhale. So normally I would breathe in for two seconds, hold for two seconds and then breathe out for six and repeat. And I would just do that. Now you have to do that breathing pattern roughly for five minutes, twice a day. The other option is to then use inspiratory muscle training. So this is a little device called the breather. I can set it to resist inhalation and exhalation. Almost all the research on hypertension has focused on inspiration. Um, and you do not have to do this intensely. In fact, the most recent study we're looking at, they were utilizing a 25 to 30% inspiratory load. So you would breathe in normally, and then you would set this to the point that you felt like it's maybe a third of the intensity that you could handle. And these have numbers on it. So you can actually figure out what number you're going to set this at. And then you would do your five minutes twice a day, focusing on the two second inhale, two second hold, six second exhale through the device. When done um, five to seven days a week, they have seen systolic blood pressure drop 20 points and diastolic blood pressure drop 10 points utilizing uh, breathing exercises. There's a lot of variation on the breathing side, but these are the current strategies that we recommend. This is a life saving approach. All right. This isn't just life changing. Whenever we look at hypertension, we're talking about people that are at higher risk for heart attacks, cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, stroke. So if you as a movement professional can offer people something simple that they can do at home while relaxing or doing other activities that can make dramatic uh, drops in blood pressure that are often comparable to or better than some medications, you should get them started on this. One last uh, con comment is if you begin your clients doing hand grip training or breath training to reduce blood pressure, make sure that they speak to their physicians about it because if they are on medication at some point as these tools begin to impact their blood pressure, they may need to have their medications reevaluated. Uh, this is a really powerful concept. I wanted to make sure we got it out there to you. So hope you found this useful. Let us know what you think in the comments.